In this exercise, which is number five, what we're going to have a uh, look at is the premium furniture sales um, spreadsheet that's previously been made. And what we'll be asked to do is add in the expenditure, work out the amount of tax, work out the um, after-tax profit, and work out the average after-tax profit across all the stores. And the following section shows us how to do this. The first thing it says is open the spreadsheet premium. Now you'll see I've renamed it in this example as Spreadsheets Lesson 5, just so it fits with the uh, video here. But it should be called premium, so if it's not, you can click in here. Second thing you'll notice is I'm using Excel online, to a slightly more limited version of Excel, but it has the advantage it'll work on any computer with a browser. If you're not sure how to get there, if you go to your email, so outlook.office365.com, click in the top left hand corner, and click on Excel, it will take you on and you can edit it there. And this does have the advantage that as you type, you'll see this keeps changing to save, so it's saving what we do. So, number one we've done, we've opened it. Number two, select cell B3 and change first quarter sales to first quarter report, that's pretty easy. Okay. Then it says select F5 and enter the label expenditure. So we're gonna to go to five and write in expenditure. Now, you should see mine's right aligned because I've already formatted the whole row in the last um, example. If this doesn't work for you, if you click on the edge here and just click on right align, it will right align the whole thing. Obviously, if you've added colors or other bits, you'll need to make sure they're matching as well. Then, question four, enter the expenditure data above. So that's all we're gonna do is just copy this information in. So it's 5,000. 6,754, 3,476, 9,043. So they're all entered. Then it says, um, select cell G5 and enter the label profit before tax. So this is going to become profit before tax. And it says change the width of the cell to accommodate the label. Now I think mine's already okay. Select cell uh, G6, so we're gonna go on to this one. And you need to enter the formula E5 take away F, sorry, E6 take away F6. So it's gonna be equals, and we can just click on this. So we're gonna go E6 take away F6. So it's the total amount of money we've made minus the costs we had. Okay, and that's 60,948, so it should be lower than that, which is always a good check on that. Then it says copy the formula down to G9. So all we're going to do is click on the corner here and pull that down. And that should duplicate the formula in there. If I actually click in the right space, that will. There we go. Okay. Then it says in question eight, select H5. So we're going to go to H5 here. And it says tax on profit. Okay, so make sure that fits in. If not, obviously you need to uh, move the columns across so that they fit properly. So we've got tax on profit, and again, you'll see that's changed to saved there. And this time it says, um, select H6, or into this one, and enter the formula G6 multiplied by 0 0.15. So we're gonna go equals, and I'm just gonna click on this for ease, G6, and I'm gonna multiply it using the asterisk, 0 0.15, Okay, and we should get a tax, which is um, a percentage of this, 15% in this case. So we're going to click on that one. I'm going to pull that one down as well, because we're going to assume that's what it says next. It says copy the formula down, so we're right. Then it says enter uh, cell I5. So I'm going to have to scroll across here, because obviously I'm trying to do two things on the screen at once. And then I'm going to write in the title here, which is profit After tax, click off there. This isn't wide enough, so I'm going to widen that so the whole of the uh, title is visible, or the header, rather. And then we're going to click in I6, and this time we're going to do equals, and we're going to do G6, take away H6. So this is how much profit we've made minus the tax. So you can see this is what our final one is, and again, can pull this down so it affects the other bits, which is the nice thing with spreadsheets. Then we need to highlight or mark off the range B6 to I10 and change the number format to currency. So let's go across. So we're going to go to B6, 
maybe a bit faster than I wanted to there, to I10, and we need to set that to currency. So we could right click on this, and we can go to a number format. I'm gonna set this to currency here. I don't particularly mind which currency you choose. Okay, just be consistent throughout. So I'm gonna stick with dollars and two decimal places. If you wanna choose a different one, by all means click down and choose a currency that's more appropriate for what you want. Okay, you could use RMB or something else. Okay, for the sake of ease, I'm gonna use dollars. So there we go, we've got the dollars showing there. Now it says select cell, e, cell A12, so we're gonna go back to here, go down to A12, and what we're gonna do here is gonna create a type that says average profit, and I'm gonna not put random capitals in, despite my best attempts here. I'm gonna widen the column so it fits, okay? And now I'm gonna click in cell C12, which is this one, and I'm going to enter the formula average. If you want to move that across there, that's absolutely fine. Um, I think it didn't intend me to move that across as much as possible, but let's put it here because it's what it says on the instructions. So I'm going to do equals average. And what I need to do here now is select I6 to I9 because that's the profit re range. So we're going to select that area there. I'm going to close the brackets and press enter. And you can see now that the my average profit is 129,456 and 70 cents. And if you look at the uh, profit here, you can see the highest is 200, lowest is 100. There's a bit of an anomaly at 50 here, so it looks like it's round about the right kind of number. Then we've got question 50, um, sorry, noisy cat in the background. Um, then we've got question 15. So it says copy cell B10, so B10, is this one here where we are uh, making a addition of all the columns above across to I10. So we're going to pull that one across all the way across, but not so far that the page disappears off. Okay. And you can see that now that we've got a total profit after tax for the whole corporation showing there. Then it says highlight cell C12. So we can go down here to C12, which is the average one. Change the number format to currency. Well, it's already done it on here, but again, you know how to do this. Click on number format and you can apply it there. Adjust the column widths and rows and heights so all data and all cells can be seen. This is a really easy way to lose marks in the actual GCSE. They tend to be like one mark for each of these. So if you haven't formatted your columns correctly, or you've missed out things like the currency, it's really easy to lose marks, but equally it's easy, really, really easy to gain them if you just follow the instructions. It says save the spreadsheet as premium profits, so we should be changing that name there to premium profits. And then what you need to do is hand in the screenshot, so various ways on different computers. If you're using a uh, Windows machine, it's Windows Shift S and then paste it in below. Okay. If you're using a Mac, I think it's Command Control C or something like that. So, okay, but you can have a look. Okay. And that is uh, lesson five complete.